What's up guys, it's Dustin Novath with Live and Uncut Music Media Group and I'm here today to say we hit the motherfucking 1,000 mark bitches on the motherfucking subscriber list. So what I gotta do, what do I got to do in order to keep y'all motherfuckers entertained up in here? It's about to get real crazy in this motherfucker. We interrupt this broadcast, breaking news. In music news. Live and Uncut Music Media Group. Here today to bring you some news. Some motherfucking news. Some media. Shit. Yeah, we gonna bring the motherfucking media here today. On the motherfucking is that? Yeah. Sharon Osborne was rushed to the hospital. They don't know what was going on. But now, the bitch is back home. And she's healthy. That's all the news we got for today. What can I say? There's no news to be given. It's just a story from TMZ. Bunch of lame motherfuckers. Fake ass media shit. Bringing you false information about people. I'll give you a real story about Sharon Osbourne, okay? 1999 OzFest. My brother and I are backstage working for System of a Down. It was our first time ever being backstage at anything like this. I'm 14 years old, he's 17. We have no clue where we're at, what we're doing, um, whose dressing rooms we're in, what's taking place. And um, next thing you know, some ladies is, is like, hey, what the fuck are you doing in here? And we're like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? What? What's the problem, lady? And my brother, He's got a short fuse, so instantly he goes, Bitch, we're with System of the Down. Go fuck yourself, all right? <laughs> Her security guard grabs me and he goes, Hey, you might want to tell your buddy to watch himself. That's Ozzy's wife. And, and by this time, the Osborne show and shit like that wasn't on TV yet, you know? They weren't well known yet. Ozzy was, but his family, no, they weren't. But the kids were back there fucking riding four-wheelers and, and shit and golf carts around. And, and So Sharon being the boss that she is, man, she goes, I got something for you little motherfuckers. Next thing you know, she's walking us through a hallway. And um, by this time, it was over with, man. Like, there was no turning back. Whatever was about to take place was about to take place. And I just knew it wasn't good because we were heading towards the tour buses, right? This fucking lady walks straight on System of a Down's bus. And when I seen her open that door, I'm like, oh, shit. Because, man, you don't just walk on motherfuckers' buses. That's like their house, you know what I'm saying? And uh, she grabbed the manager of System and brought him outside, who was my friend. Um, man, next thing you know... She's like, you better get these motherfuckers in check right now. And um, so anyways, my brother goes, miss, I am so sorry. This is all new to us. We had no clue that that was Ozzy's dressing room because we really didn't. We had no idea, man. It didn't look like anything special. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just a normal room and nothing really in it. But um, yeah, man, uh, he goes, I am so sorry. I did not mean to call you that. I just got a little excited and um, you know, this is all new to us. So she goes, <laughs> nobody is ever calling me a bitch. Out of, or I take that back. She goes, nobody is ever calling me outside of my name until now. In a way, I think she respected it, man. I really do, because she's, she's a boss, man. Like she runs the shit she runs ozzy literally runs him it was just a little curveball in, in the game and, and uh we ended up taking that motherfucker for a ride jose canseco style straight out the park because uh the rest of the night was a success we ended up hanging out with uh ozzy system that was a great tour man slipknot i appreciate you spending time with me today and tuning in this is dustin novath from live and uncut music media group Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas!